The frost performs its secret ministry, unhelped by any wind. The owlet's cry came loud, and hark again, loud as before. The inmates of my cottage, all at rest, have left me to that solitude which suits abstruser musings, save that at my side my cradled infant slumbers peacefully. Tis calm indeed, so calm that it disturbs and vexes meditation with its strange and extreme silentness. Sea, hill and wood, this populous village, Sea and hill and wood, with all the numberless goings on of life, inaudible as dreams. The thin blue flame lies on my low burnt fire and quivers not. Only that film, which fluttered on the grate, still flutters there, the sole unquiet thing. Methinks its motion in this hush of nature gives it dim sympathies with me who live, making it a companionable form, whose puny flaps and freaks the idling spirit by its own moods interprets. Everywhere echo or mirror seeking of itself and makes a toy of thought.